All right, just a second. Close the eyes, hands in Dhyana Mudra, back straight, relax shoulders. We will chant three long omkars followed by the opening prayers. Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Bunatu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Tejasvina Vaditamasuma Vidvishavahai, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Let's keep the eyes closed, join the hands and back of the body. Bow down to the Mother Supreme Earth, raise both hands up over towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back up. Rub the palms against each other. Make them warm, generate Urja. Cover the eyes and face under the warm hand. Open and close eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down over the face. Gently open the eyes and let's start the session with some light exercise. Sushma Vyayam, warm up. Let's extend both hands forward, both arms parallel to each other, parallel to the floor, holding the palms down and up. Try to hold them at 90 degree. Keep the elbows straight, alternate few times. And let's circle the palms in one direction. Pull movements at the wrist joint, 360 degree movement. Reverse the direction, keeping the arms completely still from shoulders to the wrist. Make a tight fist and release. Spread the fingers apart each time. and pull at all the knuckle joints, just like scorpion. Now we are not making fist, we are just holding all the knuckle joints. All right, and relax. Okay, next, we'll pull at elbows, inhale, both hands up, exhale down, Connect all the fingers together over the shoulders, spread them apart on the floor. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Do it mindfully. Keep 100% awareness on all these small activities we are doing. Few times sideways. Now hold all the fingers together over the shoulders, keeping back straight, we will just circle the folded elbows, maximum, the biggest circle possible, elbows touching each other at front, 
back of the palms also touching each other at back of the head so that way we are ensuring we are circling fully and reverse the direction again inhale up exhale down feel some great stretches in the shoulders upper arms and relax Next, extend both hands sideways, turn the palms 90 degree up and we will circle slowly in small circles, palms circling around the shoulders. We can push the palms backward as well, so all the directions equally. And reverse the direction. You can close the eyes whenever you don't need to look at the screen so you can go inward and you can feel all the sensations movements very precisely relax next inhale raise both hands up stretch the upper body upward exhale twist upper body to the one side look back align chin with the shoulder Keep pushing the knee forward, feel the full stretches, inhale, back to center, exhale to the second side, try to keep the trunk vertical, back straight, inhale, back to center, and we'll do one more time, both the sides. Inhale, come back and complete onto the second side. Come back and let's extend the legs. We can keep the palms beside the hips. Or if you like, you can just hold it back there. But in any of the cases, try to keep the upper body pushed a little bit forward. Lean forward. Legs are fully grounded, knees straight. Squeeze and release all the toes few times. Push them together forward. Inhale. Exhale. Bring them back. Inhale forward. Exhale back few times, both feet together and alternate few times. Feel some great sensations from the ankle joints and lower legs, specifically the calf muscles. Now hold the heels together, toes together and circle the toes around the heels. Again, keeping the knees straight, legs remain fully grounded and reverse the direction. And relax. Separate both feet, couple of feet apart with help of both the palms. Relax the upper body, you can look up. Legs are fully grounded, knees straight, we can roll the toes in and out and feel the movements into the entire legs all the way up to the hip joints. And come back. Keep it together. Now fall at the right knee, bring the right foot onto the left thigh, interlock the right toes with left fingers, keep pushing the right knee down with the right palm, keep the back straight, head, neck, trunk in vertical line, left leg remains straight, left toes pointed out. Now as we in, just bring a knee to the chin, inhale, push it down to the floor, exhale, bring it to the chin, 
couple more times. And then switch to the other side. Relax and straighten the right leg. Hold at the left knee, left foot onto the right thigh. Very good activity for the hip joints. Increase blood circulations, increase flexibility, increase energy level. And knee to the chin. Inhale, push it down to the floor, hold that for a couple of seconds while we hold the breath. Exhale, bring it to the chin. Couple more times. And relax. Let's Hold at the right knee, grab the upper right leg in both the hands. You can grab it into the arms, hold it there, or you can just use both hands to grab it, grab it slightly over the knees. Now inhale, straighten the leg, toes stretch out, exhale, flex the knee, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down and make a circle with the lower right leg. Let the toes guide the direction. Inhale upward, exhale downward, and reverse the direction. Try to hold the upper leg completely still so we can have full movements, all the benefits at the knee joint. Now straighten the right knee, grab the right ankle or right heel or right foot with both the hands, raise the leg up as high as possible without folding at the knee. Deep inhale, deep exhale and bend the forward and down, try to bring the forehead onto the right knee. Inhale, come back and relax, straighten the right leg, hold at the left knee and same thing towards left. Inhale up, exhale down, second time, third time and we will circle. All these small activities are really good for the joints. We keep on doing those daily basis. Reverse the direction. And now straighten the left knee. Grab the left foot, left heel or ankle how as far as we can reach raise the leg up inhale exhale normal deep inhale deep exhale as we drop the head we can bring the forehead onto the left knee inhale come back relax and bring fit together do titli asan butterfly pose next interlock the fingers place them over the toes the thumbs will go directly under the big toes raise both knees all the way up slowly and bring them down completely towards the floor one more time big movements all the way down and then we will speed up the flapping, up and down. You can raise knees up to create the momentum so there are greater chances of getting knees onto the floor.
Okay, now stop flapping. Grab the toes tightly and pull the heels inward all the way in. Keep the back straight. Push knees down to the floor. Feel the great stretches at the hip joints and the pelvis area. Close the eyes. Now deep inhale. Hold the breath into the lower abdomen area. Three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Deep inhale again. Hold the breath in lower abdomen area for seven counts. Do with your own pace. Let's do two more rounds after this. And each time whenever we are we are holding the breath, make sure our knees are pressed down. Back remains straight. And our awareness fully at the hip joints and pelvis area. Once you're done, then slowly open the eyes. We will roll the body side by side. Bring the knee all the way down to the floor and we push the upper body a little bit away from the heels. Make some space between heels and the hips. About like one foot distance. And stop there. Grab the toes tightly, elbow straight, back straight, knees down. We are doing Baddha Konasan next, the previous one was Baddhasan or the bound pose. Next bound angle pose, Baddha Konasan. Deep inhale, as we deep exhale, bend down, try to lower the upper body as much as possible. We can try to bring our forehead onto the toes. Inhale, come back up. Second round, let's try to pull the upper body away from the hips. We dip inhale. If we dip exhale, bend down, we can pull the toes inward. Also with the help of the folded elbow, we can push the lower legs in order to pull the upper body further up and down. See if we can bring our chin onto the toes. Inhale, come back up and let's sit into a cross leg posture. Siddhasan, Sukhasan, Hap Padmasan, Full Padmasan, Swastikasan, any of the pose that you can comfortably sit. Bring both hands sideways. We'll do Parvatasan. Keep the back straight. As we inhale, with full awareness, bring both hands together at the chest. At Anahata Chakra. Exhale. Inhale as we raise both hands up. Rest them onto the top of the head. At the Sahasrara Chakra. Exhale. As we inhale, raise both hands up. Palms are completely aligned. Elbows straight. Biceps at the ears. We can stretch the whole upper body upward. As we exhale, start lowering the palms, bring them back to the top of the head at the chest and all the way down. So three inhale exhale while getting into the pose and one long exhalation while coming out of the pose. Let's close the eyes with the full awareness. Let's do two more times with own pace.
if you're done, and bring both hands into Dhyan Mudra. Little deep inhale and deep exhale, slowly, steadily. Fill up the, all the five lobes of the lungs, and slowly, steadily, we will empty them. Vastrika Pranayam, with closed eyes, relax shoulders, back straight. Continue inhaling and exhaling deeply, fully, with full awareness. Observe each breath. Slowly open the eyes and we will do the Surya Nadi Pranayam next. Make a Vishnu Mudra on right hand, roll first two fingertips into root of thumb, using the right ring fingertip to blow the left nostril. We will inhale and exhale on right side only. Left nostril is blocked. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Complete the round when we breathe out on right. Bring both hands down. We will make Vayu Mudra roll. First fingertip into root of thumb on both the hands. Relax the upper body. We will deeply inhale once and then in multiple exhalations we will completely breathe out. Then we will do the second round, then third round. With forceful exhalation, frequency you can keep as per your comfort level.
Feet down and you pull the breath out. We'll just open up the palms towards ceiling, bring the body into Sambhavya Mudra. Tilt the head just slightly upward. Close the eyes, then still the body completely for next 10 seconds. Feel the vibrations internally. Let the energy get absorbed into the body. And slowly come back. Next we'll do variation of Vastrika Pranayam. Make a loose fist at the shoulders. Hold at elbow and ribs. Deep inhale and deep exhale, just one round, normal. And vigorous, forceful inhale, both hands up. Exhale, forceful, both hands down, make a fist. Inhale up, open up the fist, exhale. If you have blood pressure issue, heart problem, and do it slowly. and relax. Sambhava Mudra for 10 seconds. Come back. We'll do variation, similar one, slight different. Deep inhale, deep exhale, just one normal round. And forceful inhale up. Exhale down, inhale front, exhale back, inhale sideways, exhale back. And Sambhavya Mudra for 10 seconds. And come back. Let's straighten the legs. Spread them apart. We'll do Upavishta Konasan next. With some light stretches, inhale, raise both hands up. As we exhale, bend down, try to grab the big toes, toes or the feet as far as we can reach, right to right, left to left. Try to bend from the lower back. Inhale, come back up. Second round, exhale. Try to keep the knees straight, legs are fully grounded, completely bent down. We can stay longer in pose. We can inhale, exhale normal. But try to push the upper body further down with each exhalation. Inhale, come back up. Now turn the upper body towards right leg, fully exhale, bend down, grab the right foot equally with both the hands and forehead onto the right knee. Inhale, come back up onto the second side, completely bent down. Inhale, come back up. Again, towards right, longer duration, fully exhale, bend down. Keep on pushing the upper body further forward and down with each exhalation. Inhale, exhale, normal. 10, 9, 8. Two, one. Inhale, come back up, towards left, 
grab the left foot equal with both the hands keep pushing the upper body forward and down with its exhalation 10 9 2 1 and you'll come back up now fold at the left knee so lift heel at the perineum we will do Janu Sirsasana next turn the upper body again towards the right leg perpendicular to the right leg inhale raise both hands up look up fully exhale bend down grab the right foot equally with both the hands forehead onto the right knee 10 9 8 2 1 inhale both hands up and let's do parivrutta janu sirsasan bring the right palm forward palm facing ceiling and grab the right big toe with right hand inhale raise left hand up as we exhale bring the left hand also onto the right big toe keep looking up toward the ceiling or at least look at the corner of the ceiling relax the lower back inhale come back up now straighten the left leg slowly hold at the right knee bring the right heel at the perineum Janu Sirsasan towards left side inhale both hands up look up Lay exhale bend down grab left foot equally with both the hands to pushing the forehead onto the left knee 10, 9, 8, 2, 1. Come back up as we inhale and the variation. Inhale, left hand up. As we exhale, bring the, sorry, the right hand up. Bring the right hand also onto the left big toe. Keep looking up toward the ceiling. Relax the lower back. Inhale, come back up. And separate. Straighten both the legs. We will do Chakki Chalanasana. Interlock the fingers. Reverse the palms. As we inhale, go backward, turn the palms toward the one side, exhale, bend down and turn the upper body and arms toward the other side in a circle, coming back up, inhale, exhale, bend down. Keep the knees straight, legs fully grounded. Arms will stay at the shoulder level all the time, three to four circles in one direction. Then reverse the direction for the same number of circles. You can close the eyes, keep the awareness within the body. Feel how the stretches are circling around the waist area. So this is grinding pose, Chakki Chalanasan. Okay. Once you're done, then relax. Next we'll do Vakrasan. Bring both legs together. Fall at the right knee. The right foot at the close to the left knee. Bring the right hand at the back, back of the body. Inhale, raise the left hand up. Bring the left hand around the right knee. Fully exhale. As we push the right knee towards left. And look back. Align chin with the right shoulder. We can hold the stomach inward. 
If you are unable to hold the breath, you can inhale, exhale. Coordinate with the breath. So as we inhale, bring the body back to the center. And we will do the Vakrasan on the second side. Very slowly, with full awareness, 100% awareness within the body, into the, all the movements, Inhale, come back. And next, let's get into Gomukhasan. Hold at both the knees, heels closer to the hips. We are not sitting on the heels. So, whichever side knee is up, that side hand will go up. Help with the other hand to push the first hand down then we can bring the other hand directly at the back and connect both the hands we can always use any kind of prop belt strap cloth napkin would be handy if we have flexibility we can dip inhale as we exhale, tuck the stomach inward and try to bring the forehead onto the knees. Once we stayed long enough in pause, then release the hands and we'll switch to the second side. Cow face pose, Gomukhasan. Then you will come back and a little bit relaxing. You can sit into Vadrasan or any other posture if you like. Just breathe in and out normal. So upper body will be vertical. Close the eyes, feel the body internally. Scan the body from head to toes and toes to back to the head. Top of the head, back of the head, face, ears, eyes, nose, throat, mouth, each part. Then going down, see and notice any small sensations or any kind of thing we can feel. with own pace, body part by body part. Complete the round trip, like 30, 40 seconds, next.
Once you're done, slowly open the eyes. All right. So let's do, when I say recording back, that means resume the recording session. And if you say, as no session, Let's do Mandukasan, frog pose. From the Vajrasan, extend both hands forward. Make a tight fist, keeping the thumbs inside. Place a dip inhale and hold the breath in lower abdomen. Then place top of the fist in between the ribcage and navel. Now force full exhale. Bend down. Try to lower the upper body as much as possible. Tilt the head slightly up. We will come back up. I will do the second round. Mandukasan frog pose, same sequence again. Tight fist, deep inhale, hold the breath, then place the fist. Horse full exhale without leaving the heels. We can drop the upper body as low as possible, then tilt the head slightly up. Here you'll come back up. Then we'll do a complementary pose. Supta Vajrasan or Supayan Vajrasan. From the Vajrasan or you can do from the Virasan. With help of the palms and folded elbows, just lay down on the floor, the whole back and back of the head onto the floor. Raise both hands up and rest the palms onto the top of the thighs. Inhale, exhale, normal. Close the eyes. Relax the lower back, hip joints, thigh muscles, knee joints, calf muscles, and keep 100% awareness onto those body parts which we just relaxed. Slowly come back out of the pause, grab the ankles, push the elbows into the floor and slowly bring the body back into the initial pose. That could be Vadrasan or Virasan, whatever pose that you started with. Now separate both knees out, bring both palms in between the knees, dip inhale, align the head, neck and trunk. As we exhale, slowly walk the palms forward one at a time, all the way out and let the whole upper body onto the floor. Do not leave the heels, so heels and hips are still connected. Test chin on the floor, relax shoulders, relax lower back, deep inhale, deep exhale. Next inhalation, tilt the head up and start walking the hands back towards the body. Let the upper body rise. And next, let's go on the knees. We will do full camel pose. Separate the knees and feet, same as the shoulder width. As we inhale, raise the right hand up in circular fashion. Exhale, bring it back. Rest it onto the right heel. Same thing onto the second side. With breath coordination. Once we have rested both the hands onto the knee, onto the uh, heels, drop the head in the back. Look into the back wall, push the stomach forward. 
feel some great compression at the lumbar area, extension in the stomach. So our stomach should be going beyond the knee line on the floor. If you look at your own screen, should be crossing the knee line. Now slowly come out of the pose, one hand at a time, and finally straighten the trunk. Now bring both palms onto the floor, get into the double top pose, so knees are vertically down under the hips, palms vertically under the shoulders. Let's do cat and cow pose, deep inhale. Look up into the front wall. We can push the lower back up as well. Spine will be downward arch. Fully exhale. Look at the navel, fold the elbow slightly. Spine will be upward arch. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. A couple more times. Do with own pace. With breath coordination, with full awareness. Next, just breathe in and out a couple of times, relax. Let's do a Vyagrasana, the tiger pose. Next inhalation, kick the right foot back. Look up into the front wall. So right knee straight, right leg parallel to the floor. Next inhalation, fold at the right knee without dropping it. And Right toes pointing toward the ceiling, you can quickly turn around, make sure pose is correct, leg is not laying down toward one side or anything. Then keep looking into front as high as possible, inhale, exhale, normal, relax the lower back. Next inhalation, raise the left hand up and grab the right foot. Then pull the right leg up as high as possible while keep looking up into the front wall. Very slowly bring the left palm and right knee back to the floor, back to toggle top pose. Inhale, exhale, normal. And we will do the aggression onto the second side. Next inhale, kick the left foot back, left knee straight, left leg parallel to the floor. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Left toes pointed towards the back wall. Relax the lower back. Inhale, exhale, normal. Next inhalation, hold at the left knee 90 degree. Without dropping it, quickly turn around and make sure that our leg is folded properly. Left toes pointed towards ceiling, inhale, exhale, normal. Next inhalation, raise the right hand up and grab the left foot. Pull it up as high as possible while keep looking up into the front wall. And very slowly bring the right palm and left knee onto the floor. Inhale, exhale, normal. And come back, half stand onto the knees. Let's do the gate pose and its variation. Extend the right leg out, 
Inhale, raise the left hand up. So right hand will be onto the left leg as we exhale. Slide it down. So hand will go all the way to the right ankle or the right foot while keep looking up. At least look at the corner of the ceiling. Parigasan, get pose. Inhale, come back up and the variation. Bring the left palm onto the floor beside the left knee. Inhale, raise the right hand up. As we exhale, bring the right hand down towards left side. Keep looking up. So the entire right side of the body making one big arch. Very slowly bring the right hand at the waist. Next inhalation, raise the right leg up. Exhale down, just lower it. Do not put on the floor. Inhale, raise it up. Exhale down. Three. Four. Eye and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly bring the right foot back onto the floor. Both knees on the floor. And we will switch to the second side. Inhale, raise the right hand up. As we exhale, slide the left hand down along with the left leg. Keep looking up. Inhale, come back. And the variation. Very slowly, with full awareness. Entire left side of the body is making one big arch with some great extension. The right arm and the right upper leg is forming or serving as a column in the middle of the arch. And very slowly bring the left hand at the waist. Inhale, raise the left leg up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Three. Four. Five and hold. Five. Four, three, two, one. Very slowly bring the left foot back onto the floor, both knees on the floor. And we will stand up. Relax. Hands, thighs, leg, head. And let's do Tadasan. Both feet together. Interlock the fingers, palms facing down. As we inhale, raise both hands up and go on the toes. Now push the palms towards ceiling. Exhale. Separate both hands, bring them down. One more time. Do with breath coordination. Hold the breath in. Down. Let's walk around the mat. Make two circles. And then walk onto the toes, two circles.
around the mats. Swill, activate the lymphatic system throughout the body fairly quickly. The system that is responsible to remove the toxins or release the toxins from the joints. Next, separate the feet, three to four feet apart. And let's do Tiryatarasan. Interlock the fingers, raise both hands up, palms upside down. Deep inhale. As we exhale, sway towards one side. Keep looking up. Now back to center, exhale to the second side, keep looking up. Inhale back to center, we will do one more round, second time both the sides. You can go a little further if body allows. little bit beyond the comfort zone. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, complete to the second side. Inhale, come back. And separate the feet even further apart. Do Kati Chakrasan, extend both hands forward, parallel to each other, parallel to the floor. Deep inhale, as we exhale, turn the upper body towards one side, we can fold at the other elbow, keep on following one palm, and all the way back, the other hand will go to the opposite side shoulder, feel the full twist. Inhale, back to center, straighten both hands, exhale to the second side. Try to keep the upper body as vertical as possible. And our hips, legs will remain completely still. Inhale, back to center, we'll do one more time. So that way we can feel some great stretches at the lower back and the twisting, come back and complete onto the second side. Come back and relax for a few seconds. Feel the body internally. Each time you can close the eyes and see what is happening within the body. Could be in upper arms, shoulders, back area, or anywhere. We should be able to keep rotating our awareness as per our wish, wherever we want to. Let's do twisted triangle, both hands on a sideways, deep inhale. As we exhale, grab the left big toe with right hand and left hand will go 90 degree up. Look up into the ceiling through the left palm. Both knees straight. Inhale. Come back. And to the second side. Six, seven. Inhale. Come back. We'll do one more time. Twisted triangle. Three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, back up and complete onto the second side. 
टू थ्री सेवन नेक्स्ट विल डू रिवॉल्विंग ट्राइंगल परिवृत्त त्रिकोणासन फ्रॉम द स्टार पोज डिप इन हेल एज वी डिप एक्सेल so right hand will go outward of the left ankle and the left hand will go vertically up toward the ceiling thumb we can point toward front so we can look into the ceiling through the thumb inhale come back exhale to the second side we need to bend down a little further and we need to twist our upper body Inhale, come back. We'll do one more round of the revolving. Come back and complete onto the second side. Come back and relax. Bring feet together. Close the eyes. And let the hands go wherever it rests by the gravity. Inhale, exhale, completely natural, normal. Okay, let's come back and few more poses. Let's separate the feet again at the farthest, at least five feet. Hold at the right knee. Turn the right foot toward the right. Upper body remains straight. Both hands sideways. Look toward the right hand. Inhale, raise the right hand up. As we exhale, bring the right palm beside the right foot. Left hand will go straight. Parsakonasan. Look up into the ceiling. So the trailing leg, the left leg, trunk, and the left arm. All in one line. Inhale. Slowly come back up and switch to the second side with full awareness the upper body will still stay in vertical line inhale as we exhale bring the left hand or left palm on the floor beside the left foot we can push our waist area the abdomen area as low as possible so our leg and trunk, they will be aligned. Keep looking up. And slowly come back. And let's bring both hands at the waist. Feet would be closer. Deep inhale, arch backward. We can push the thumbs on a sacrum area. We can circle them. Shell back to center. Inhale again. Exhale, bend forward and down. Let the upper body freely go as low as possible. Let it hang at the waist. Inhale, come back. And without forgetting, let's do Surya Namaskar. We will do four. Let's move in front of the mat.
Okay. Can stay in samasthiti few more seconds. Breathe in and out, normal. We will do alternate, total four surya so we will do from right, then left, then right, then left. All right, so let's roll the shoulders back and down and begin.
down in a malasan squatting pose can keep the heels slightly inward and toes pointed out so we can have our feet flat on the floor can do some stretches here push knees out or we can bring the one palm on a floor and slide it out along with the knees on that side and other hand will go up toward the ceiling, look into the ceiling through the palm which is up. Feel some great stretches on the side of the trunk or the side of the waist. Inhale, come back and onto the second side. Okay, come back. And let's try uh, what this pose called Gorakshasana. Both feet flat on the floor, toes onto the floor, knees separated out. It is a little bit balancing pose. You can bring both palms at the chest, top of the head or even up and back and let's stand up let's bring both hands into Patri Namaskar at the back palms align each other fingertips pointing down then we can turn them towards up and push them up as high as possible hold it for few seconds we can push the elbows towards back so our palms will be perfectly flat Align together and release. Let's do our favorite balance pose to the tree pose. 
Rukshasan very slowly get into the pose. and slowly transition to the second side if you have a little bit balancing issue you can keep the palms at the chest or on top of the head biceps at the ears and palms will be aligned and back let's do the another one Uttishta Hasta Pada Angustasana I'm glad I still remember the name very slowly with help of the first two fingers onto the same side put grab the big toe Straighten in the front first and then slide it down on a side way. Other hand will go up as, as a counterbalance. If you still have good balance, we can look onto the opposite side of the leg, which is up. And we can bring the leg in front and bring it down. Yes, you can use the chair, but do that till you get or till you practice. And onto the second side, very slowly. Great. I see some great poses. Okay. So let's lay down on a stomach. Bring the body into crocodile pose, makarasan. Complete relax. Inhale, exhale, normal. Let all the body parts be on their own. Which will do the reverse boat pose. Extend both hands forward for the Superman pose. Next inhalation, raise both hands, head, chest, chin up, pull both legs up, away from the floor, make sure the thighs are not touching the floor, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back to the Makarasan, pull, relax. Okay. Next, we will do bow pose, bring both legs together, hold at the knees, grab the ankles right to right, left to left, next inhalation, raise both legs up, look up, only the stomach and the pelvis area stay on the floor, try to pull the legs up as high as possible. Bow pose, Dhanurasan. Might be some rocking movements as we breathe in and out. That's even beneficial as it massages the internal organs into the abdomen area. Very slowly, 
come out of the pose and lay down into makarasan full rest complete relax and come back and let's turn around lay down on the back Do half no cousin, raise both legs up 30 degree with the floor and trunk is also 30 degree with the floor. Both hands up, look toenails through the fingernails, elbow straight, knee straight. And slowly bring the body down, lay down in Shavasana. Both hands away from the body, palms facing ceiling, fingers semi-closed, limbs separated, fully grounded, feet, couple of feet apart from each other, toes pointed out. And next we'll do Pavan Muktasan leg rotation combo, fold at the right knee, grab the right lower leg in both the hands, pull the right knee all the way at the chest, push it down, deep inhale, as we exhale, raise the head up, try to bring the forehead onto the right knee, hold it there, if we have extra flexibility we can even cross them. Inhale, bring the head back onto the floor, keep holding the folded knee at the chest. Next inhalation, raise the left leg up, keeping the left knee straight, left toes pointed out. Exhale, lower it. Inhale up. Each time when we bring it up, it should be perpendicular to the floor. Exhale, lower it, so it should stay 2-3 inches over the floor. Inhale up. Exhale down and we will circle the right or uh, circle the left leg, keeping the knee straight and toes pointed out. Two and three. Then reverse the direction. Three, two, and one. And let relax and straighten the right leg, relax the left leg. Now fold at the left knee, grab the left lower leg in between, in, in the both the hands, and bring the left folded knee at the chest, push it down, hold it. As we dip inhale, dip exhale, raise the head up, and try to bring the face and the left knee together or we can even cross them until we can hold the breath out and we will inhale and bring the back of the head on the floor holding the left knee at the chest raise the right leg up with next inhalation right knee straight right toes pointed out exhale lower it Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, and we will circle, the biggest circle possible. And three. And reverse the direction, three, two, and one.
relax, straighten both legs, lay down in Shavasan for 10 seconds, breathe in and out normal. Okay, next, we will do Uttan Padasan. Bring both feet together, both palms beside the hips to support the body, palms facing down. Next inhalation, raise both legs up, knees straight, toes pointed out toward the ceiling. Hold there for 10 more seconds. Uttan Padasan. This is great pose to fix our solar plex issues. Very slowly, inch by inch, start lowering the legs. Keep the knees straight, toes pointed out. Very slowly, slowly. And completely rest. The feet on the floor and 10 seconds Shavasan, cool relax. And come back. Next we'll do very, um, some variations of the inversion poses. If you are unable to do any inversion, then do Matsyasan. Otherwise, just do Halasan, Sarvangasan, Chakrasan, or any of these poses that you can. I am doing over here as a Sarvangasan, and then from Sarvangasan, I will transition into Halasan. Sarvangasan is the shoulder stand, the whole body weight. Will comes on our shoulders. From Sarvangasana, when I start lowering my legs, continuously it will be into the halasan. Slowly bring the upper back on the floor, mid back on the floor, lower back on the floor, and legs on the floor. Once you come out from the any of those uh, inversions, then lay down in a shavasan, 10 seconds, full relax. So if you already did the Matsyasan, then do it again and everyone else also join in Matsyasan for 10 seconds while I set up the Yog Nidra. We will have a little bit longer Yog Nidra today, more relaxed. So stay in Matsyasan, fish pose. The whole upper back area will be stay away from the floor and top of the head will be on a floor. So we should be able to look into the back wall. Now come back into Shavasan. If you want to cover yourself up, if you want to turn the lights down, should be fully, completely relaxed, fully comfortable. Follow the instructions word by word. Do 
close the eyes breathe in and out normal and let's follow the guided yoga nidra अब आप योग निद्रा के लिए तैयार हो जाइए शवासन में लेट जाइए सिर से पैर तक एक सीध में रहें पैरों में थोड़ा अंतर रखें दोनों हाथ कमर के बगल में सीधे रखें हथेलियां ऊपर की ओर खुली रहें एक बार अच्छी तरह से शरीर की स्थिति को व्यवस्थित कर लीजिए पूरी तरह आराम की स्थिति में आइए योग निद्रा का अभ्यास शुरू हो जाने के बाद शरीर को किसी तरह भी हिलाना डुलाना नहीं है आंखें बंद रखिए और जब तक खोलने को ना कहा जाए आंखें ना खोलें अब गहरी श्वास लीजिए और अनुभव कीजिए कि शारीरिक और मानसिक थकान दूर होती जा रही है केवल विश्राम की भावना को जगाइए और आपको अभी सोना नहीं है पूर्णतः जागरूक रहना है याद रहे सोना नहीं है जागृत रहना है मेरे निर्देशों का बौद्धिक विश्लेषण नहीं करना विचार नहीं करना सिर्फ आदेश का पालन पूरी तरह से मानसिक विश्राम पाने के लिए तुम सोच छोड़ दो सिर्फ मेरी आवाज को सुनते रहना और जैसा कहूं करते जा यदि अभ्यास के बीच कोई विचार आए आने दे पर निर्देशों का पालन करते रहे अपने आप को शांत और स्थिर रखें पूरी तरह शांत मैं सजग हूं मैं योग निद्रा का अभ्यास करने जा रहा हूं अब योग निद्रा का अभ्यास शुरू होता है यह समय है संकल्प करने का ऐसा संकल्प जो आपके विकास एवं रचनात्मक भाव से प्रेरित हो यह संकल्प आपके स्वभाव व प्रकृति के अनुकूल छोटा सरल और स्पष्ट भाषा में होना चाहिए जो भी संकल्प चुने उसे तीन बार कहे मन ही मन योग निद्रा में किए गए यह संकल्प निश्चित पूरे होंगे आत्मविश्वास के साथ संकल्प करें अब हम चेतना को क्रमशः शरीर के विभिन्न भागों में तेजी से घुमाएंगे शरीर के इन अंगों का नाम मानसिक रूप से दोहराइए और साथ ही शरीर के उस भाग के प्रति सजग हो जाएं। अब आप अपने दाहिने हाथ पर अपनी मानसिक सजगता को ले जाइए दाहिना हाथ दाएं हाथ का अंगूठा पहली अंगुली दूसरी अंगुली तीसरी अंगुली चौथी अंगुली हथेली 
हथेली का पिछला भाग कलाई कोहनी कोहनी से नीचे की भुजा कोहनी से ऊपर की भुजा कंधा बगल दाई कमर दाया नितम दाई जांग दाया घुटना दाई पिंडली दाया टखना एड़ी दाई पैर का तलवा पंजा दाई पैर का अंगूठा पहली अंगुली दूसरी अंगुली तीसरी अंगुली चौथी अंगुली बाएं हाथ पर अब अपनी सजगता को ले जाइए बाएं हाथ का अंगूठा पहली अंगुली दूसरी तीसरी अंगुली चौथी बाएं हाथ की हथेली हथेली का पिछला भाग कलाई कोहनी कोहनी से ऊपर की भुजा कोहनी से नीचे की बाह पूरी बाई बा कंधा बाई बगल बाई कमर बाई जांग बाया घुटना बाई पिंडली टखना एड़ी बाई पैर का तलवा पैर का पंजा अंगूठा पहली अंगुली दूसरी अंगुली तीसरी अंगुली चौथी अंगुली अब अपनी पीठ पर पूरी तरह सजग होना है पीठ का दाया हिस्सा दाया नितंब बाया नितंब बाई पीठ रीढ़ की हड्डी पीठ का पूरा भाग अपनी चेतना को सिर के ऊपर के भाग पर लाइए सिर का ऊपरी भाग माथा सिर का दाया हिस्सा बाया हिस्सा मस्तक दाई बों बाई बों भ्रू मध्य दाई आंख बाई आंख दाया कान बाया कान दाया गाल बाया गाल नाक नासिकाग्र ऊट थोड़ी गला अब आप अपनी श्वास पर ध्यान लाए सजग रहें सोना नहीं नींद में नहीं जाना नासिका छिद्रों में चेतना को ले आए जो श्वास प्रश्वास आप नाक से ले रहे हैं और छोड़ रहे हैं उसके प्रति सजग हो जाओ अब मैं आपको मानसिक दर्शन की ओर लेके चल रही हूं मैं अलग अलग चीजों और प्रतीकों का नाम बोलूंगी आप उन प्रतीकों का दर्शन अपने अनुभव सजगता भावना कल्पना आदि सभी स्तरों पर जितना संभव हो सके करें यदि आप दृश्यों को सहजता से देख पाते हैं 
तो या आपके विश्राम में और गहराई लाएगा अगर आप दृश्यों को न देख पाए तो इसका अर्थ अभी और विश्राम की आवश्यकता है सुने और अपनी भावना कल्पना अनुभव से इन्हें अपने मानसिक पटल पर देखने की चेष्टा करें बर्फ से ढका हुआ पहाड़ जलती हुई मोमबत्ती सूर्योदय का दृश्य अत्यंत सुंदर दृश्य नीला समंदर सूर्यास्त के समय उड़ते हुए पक्षी नीले आकाश में तैरते हुए बादल रात में आकाश में तारे पूर्णमाशी का चंद्रमा मुस्कुराते हुए शिव मुस्कुराते हुए बुद्ध अनंत तूफानी समंदर की लहरें हरी घास लंबे ऊंचे पेड़ और पेड़ों के मध्य में एक मार्ग निकल रहा है अब तुम अपने आप को इस मार्ग पर चलते हुए घास पर चलते हुए देखो नरम घास तुम्हारे पैरों से लग रही है पांव ठंडे होते जा रहे हैं तुम चलते जा रहे हो इस लंबे मार्ग पर जो ऊंचे ऊंचे वृक्षों के साथ घिरा है तुम चलते जा रहे हो नीला आसमान ऊंचे पेड़ हरी घास ठंडी पवन के झोंके शरीर को लग रहे हैं दूर एक मंदिर दिख रहा है दूर एक मंदिर दिख रहा है तुम चलते जा रहे हो मंदिर के करीब पहुंचे मंदिर की दो सीढ़ियों पर चढ़ना शुरू किया पहली सीढ़ी दूसरी सीढ़ी बड़े से चबूतरे पर खड़े हो मंदिर के भीतर से प्रकाश प्रकाश आ रहा है अगरबत्ती की सुगंध घी के दीपक की सुगंध नाक तक आ रही है तुम चलना शुरू करते हो मंदिर के द्वार पर पहुंचे भीतर शिव की प्रतिमा है शिव की ध्यानस्थ प्रतिमा काले पत्थर से बनी शिव की प्रतिमा मूर्ति के सामने फूल हैं अगरबत्ती जल रही है घी का दीपक जल रहा है तुम भावपूर्ण हो हाथ जोड़ते हो नमन करते हो जब माथा तुम जमीन पर लगाते हो तो जमीन ठंडी है यह ठंडक पूरे शरीर में चली गई पूरा शरीर शीतल ठंडा हो गया तुम प्रणाम करके उठते हो 
मंदिर के बाहर आते हो ध्यान की मुद्रा में वहीं बैठ गए हो तुम्हारी आंखें बंद हैं और मन ही मन तुम ओम का उच्चारण करते हो अब अपने संकल्प को दोहराओ वही संकल्प जो अभ्यास के शुरू में किया था अब सभी प्रयासों को शिथिल करो मन को बहिर्मुख बनाओ श्वास पर ध्यान लाओ आपका शरीर पूर्ण विश्राम की स्थिति में जमीन पर लेटा है अपनी चेतना को सिर से पैर तक घुमाओ मानसिक रूप से जिस कमरे में लेटे हो उसके प्रति जागरूक हो जाओ आंखें बंद ही रखें अब थोड़ा अपने शरीर को हिलाएं, पैर हाथ धीरे धीरे शरीर को तानिए जल्दबाजी में उठना नहीं है शरीर को तानिए अब धीरे से उठ के बैठ जाएं। अपनी आंखें खोल लें योग निद्रा का अभ्यास पूरा हुआ टर्न टोवर्स राइट साइड यू कैन फोल्ड एट द नीज एंड स्टे ऑन राइट फॉर टू ब्रेड इन एंड आउट or it is about 10 seconds then with the help of the palms and elbows come back up to any sitting posture if you are not seated yet rub the palms against each other generate urja make them warm cover the eyes and face under warm hands Open and close eyes few times in dark. Slowly slide the hands down over the face. Gently open the eyes. We'll do some cooling down pranayam. We will do Chandra Nari pranayam. Make a Vishnu mudra on right hand and inhale and exhale on left side only. Deep inhale on left and deep exhale on left. Okay, complete the round. The next we will do Brahmari Pranayam. Put the palms over the face, fingertips, the green fingertips on the nostrils, middle fingers over the eyes, first fingers over the forehead. We will do three times. Uh, mm.
Okay. And let's conclude the session. We'll just do the closing prayers. Close the eyes. Bring both hands and uh, the, the palms on top of each other. Relax shoulders, back straight. We will chant three times the Mahamrutsunja Mantra followed by short meditation and the prayer. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhana Pratyur Mukshiyamam Tatham Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Urva Rukameva Bandhana Rutyur Mukshiyama Pratam Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukameva Bandhana Rutyur Mukshiyama Pratam Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Tantu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyandu Ma Kasit Dukhapad Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Sarve the palms against each other Make them warm, generate urja. Let the warm hand over the eyes and face. Move the palms over the eyes. Gently massage the eyelid. Open and close eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down over the face. Spread the fingers apart over the face. Gently open the eyes. Rub the palms one more time. Place them on top of the head, back of the head, neck, shoulders, arms, trunk, legs, back, throughout the body to spread the energy within. Ariyom Tatsat Sri Guru Namaste. Thank you, Vakul Bhai. Namaste. Namaste. Let me unmute everyone. Thank you, Bukulwa. So, 
I hope you guys like the session. You all are on mute now. Thank you. Thank you. It was good to do session.